fellow W124 enthusiast I talked to on Facebook gave me a bit of a tip on these uh, variable intake cam timing engines of the 90s on how to test the actual mechanism and magnet are actually working properly. It's actually very simple. What I did here was get the engine up to operating temperature and get out my bench power supply unit. I did set the current limiting to about 1.2 amps. That's where it just started to take effect. I didn't want to destroy my magnet or do any potential damage otherwise. And this is how I did it here. Now when the magnet is energised, on this catalyst version car, the RPMs do basically hunt and the engine almost stalls when it's first connected. There's also quite a pungent smell from the exhaust while it's doing this as well. Non-catalyst cars I think may behave differently, they may just rock around in their engine mounts and probably not try to compensate. Unfortunately the auxiliary fan started and you can't really hear much at the moment. Obviously, if there is no change to the behaviour of the engine when the magnet is energised or de-energised, something isn't working. Possibly the mechanism on the actual intake cam itself can seize up, I've been told. Now when I was done, I obviously reconnected everything and carefully reinstalled the front cover so it didn't foul the fan. <laughs> 